Over three thirds of the youth population constituting both educated and illiterate individuals are currently unemployed. This challenging situation stems from difficulties in acquiring jobs, which are also insufficient to accommodate the entire youth demographic in the country. During a seminar in Namugongo where over 300 youth received training to venture into online businesses, Osman Samdin, the chief trainer from Forex Bulls Forex Trading Company, encouraged youth to utilize their phones productively to create job opportunities for themselves. He emphasized that the free training provided to the youth aims to minimize the number of unemployed individuals in the country. Especially the government. You know, the government is trying all possible ways to fight poverty in the youth. And I would recommend this. I would give this an advice to the Parliament of Uganda. If we can invest in teaching forex trading, if we can invest in, you know, pushing this to the next level, a lot of people are going to change their mindset and people are going to start making money. Let us just fund this and it moves at a very, very fast rate. If the government can support this, people are going to start believing in us and stop calling it a scam. Precious Joy Nakazibu urged young women to cease being beggars and instead venture into forex trading, emphasizing its ease of initiation with quick knowledge and limited capital. I tried it some time. I tried trading, investing in the market, but since I knew nothing, I was making losses. Not until I realized and I was like, I need some knowledge first. So I, had, I realized that I had to invest in my knowledge so that I could get some good knowledge before I start investing in the market. And when I started this, there was an improvement because I, it was not like before. I was making losses before, but then after I started getting some knowledge about it and I now knew about it, so I started, I think things started moving on well. Helen Orishaba appealed to the government to reduce internet prices and establish training institutions for forex trading, making it easily accessible to all youth across the country. We request the government to come and maybe support us, create more trading centers, enlarge our trading center for these uh, uh, the youth out to come and trade because as you can see our place is very small and then reduce on the taxes that are on the internet that are being put on the internet so these guys can have access to the, you know, since it is an online business, uh, the, the, the people that are investing in need internet to access these apps that are used. So we request the government to reduce on the taxes that are being imposed on the internet, awareness for us, so that uh, people out there in the villages and all over the country can know about trading and know its importance for you to indulge in such an investment because it is easy to start, first of all, you, it requires little capital to start, as less as $10. Similarly, businessman Festo Kasaja urged Ugandans to spend wisely as they begin the new year, emphasizing the need for the government to prioritize projects that benefit the entire community rather than providing free money. <laughs> Omuntu muwama gezi gaba ino kozesa okufuna sente neyo banga tamwadde magezi no muwezi wedde kati bwazimala wata yeyongera yake kubanga ya magezi akazikola takaina Christmas ari nitwe Justin Nakami